Do you want to see the Mini 2 track? But um, don't ask about the suit. That's a whole nother video. Check this link up here. Made a video about that already. I'm not getting into the suit, okay? Check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you check anything, check the wind. It's 40 miles an hour gust and 24 miles constant. So if I lose this drone, well, that's on you. But we're going to do it anyway, right? It's probably going to do a lousy job in the wind, but there's only one way to find out. The name of the app is Drone Link. That's it, it's Drone Link. So I've spoken about this app already. Check the link up here to get a run through of this app. It's like 20 or 25 bucks. And I've had it since then. And these guys can code. When I tell you these guys can code, they can code. So if there's a follow feature that's going to work, it's going to be this one. So let's put it up for a test. Let's jump into follow mode. You come this, uh, this little lightning strike at the bottom here where it says on the fly and then hit follow. There you go. It's loaded up, right? And there we go, let's take off. Let me go up. I wanna see how it's gonna handle the wind. We're gonna go up to about 100 feet. Why? Because I know there's nothing at 100 feet that's going to bother me. Let's back out a little bit so we can actually see the car. There you go, that's good. I can see the car. Can I see the car? Yes, great, that's perfect. Hold it right there and I can also see the annoying birds. Good, let's hit the get started button. First set up your camera and stuff. I don't know, my exposure, my exposure looks a little too bright. I like minus three, that looks good. We're not gonna focus on the camera, we're gonna focus on the tracking. It says move around while the drone follows you. Get started, so you hit get started. The first option is fly the drone to where it should follow you. So wherever you want to start tracking, that's where you have to position the drone. So let's position the drone and then lock it in place. What I'm gonna try to do too is adjust my camera out a little bit. I'm gonna go a little higher because I think it's like 120 feet, but I don't wanna go too far. Let's get closer, but a little higher and try to raise the camera up. You gotta look for the perfect shot, right? Now, ideally you wanna fly around and make sure there are no obstacles because this drone has no sensors. And if you don't scout your area first, you might hit a tree, you might hit a building, you might hit a pole, you might hit a wire. Your job is to check your surroundings and make sure that you're tracking higher than anything around you. With that being said, I know this area very well. There's nothing at 120 feet. I could track this whole park and don't hit anything. So that's why I'm keeping it high. Good, so I'm gonna keep it here. I want some of the background with the traffic and everything. Fly to where I am, then I'm positioned, hit next. Now, it has customizable options. Do you want the full suite of options or just hit no and you can just have it track you where you are? But I need options in my life. So yes, give me the full options. Next, use the sticks. Yes, I wanna use the sticks to position the drone while it's tracking. Next, constant update uh, home location. So you can have the drone constantly update the home point to the controller or wherever it took off from. I prefer to leave it to wherever it took off from because that's safe, right? On top of the car, very safe. That's moving. Anyway, I just like my home point. Just the terrain as it goes up, as it goes down. As you go through a mountainous region, yeah, I might go up a hill that's nowhere around, so yeah. Automatically start video, absolutely. Less work for me. How to control in case of an emergency or unsafe situation? No, but I'm just gonna hit yes anyway. Worst case scenario, just jump back into sports mode. 
that should do the trick. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell him yes, I know how to. Okay, it gives you a, a breakdown summary over here of everything that you have enabled. Hit continue, generating, and just hit the play button. It's gonna Three, count down. Two, one, starting mode. There you go. So there you go, it should be locked in. So we're gonna drive between there and just kind of drive around, stay in this circle and see how well it tracks. We're not gonna go above 12 miles an hour because this is a little mini drone and it's 40 mile an hour winds. So we're gonna drive around in a circle in this parking lot um, around 12 miles an hour and see how well it does. So far it's doing good, it's tracking, it's holding the wind. I'm surprised this little mini drone is doing a good job. Now, um, can I push up this gimbal? See, I want more of the background, but the gimbal goes back into place. But I'll teach you a little trick. Just keep forcing it up and up and up, and then it's gonna kind of stay. There you go. See, it kind of moves up and down. Actually, it's winky wonky. Yeah. Now, here comes the test, right? While this car is moving, let's see if I can push the right stick forward and actually get closer to the car while it's moving. And that annoying beep's gotta be me and not having on a seat belt. All right, all right, there you go, my seatbelt's on. Good, it's doing a good job. So let's pull back and see if we can go further. Again, backwards from the car. Wow, it's doing a pretty good job, there we go. We're pulling back. This thing is doing a damn good job of tracking. See the distance is increasing, it's increasing. All right, let's get closer, let's get closer. Let's get a little closer to the car. There we go. We're pulling in. That's pretty nice. This is working pretty good, right? Is it, it is taking its time, but it's getting closer. Now let's see if we can get to the front of the car while it's tracking. That's gonna be interesting by pushing the right stick around. Wow, look at that. We pushed the right stick around and it goes in front of the car. Actually, I pushed it too much. It went all the way around to the other side. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can get every angle you need. There we go, we're in front of the car. Now, can I lower the altitude? Yes, I can lower the altitude as well. Look at it. It's going 130, 128, 126, 124, 117, 116. Let's bring it down a little lower. I'm playing a dangerous game over here, but I know my surroundings. Come down lower. So that's pretty cool. While it's tracking, while it's auto recording, this is doing a fabulous, fabulous job. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. So now we're on the side with the trees. It's following the car. But how much miles an hour are we doing there, Step? Uh, seven. Seven. So let's go to like 10. Let's go like 10 miles an hour and see if it can keep up. It's kind of falling behind the car. Now I'm going to push the right stick and see if it'll come around or what it's going to do. Here we go. Here we go. Push the right stick. See what this bad boy is going to do. Oh my gosh. Here we go. It's oh, this little thing is digging up. Wow. It's actually in front of the car now. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. He's busting at you. He's busting at you, kind of breaking it down nice. And I even got some of the background in there. Look, I got the building in the back. I got the Unisphere in the back. I got the car. I got the whole area. This is nice. This is probably the best tracking I've seen so far. Now, I'm going to bring this drone back because, number one, I don't want it to blow away. And number two, I don't want to lose it in this heavy wind. So I'm going to park, bring it back, and then we'll discuss this app some more. There's another mode called orbit. See, there's follow, there's orbit, there's focus. Focus will keep the drone just yawing around and adjusting the camera to keep you in focus, but it won't fly and chase you. And then there's follow and then there's orbit. There's more stuff like 360 photos, circle, droney, map, um, path, which is waypoints. Yes, it has waypoints. In case you're looking for waypoints, I can do another video about that. Just let me know in the comment section below. Down or you up, make up your mind. Cheese, you little feisty creature. A few things you need to be mindful of. When this is tracking, it only tracks the controller and it does a damn good job. But if you see a car driving or a bicycle riding or somebody walking and you just wanna draw a box around them and have it follow, then this doesn't have that feature as far as I'm aware of. You need to only, it, you can only follow with the controller itself. And that means that if you're on a bike, and you want it to follow the bike, you have to mount the controller on the bike, right? So it can only follow this. 
So that's the only disadvantage of this compared to Lychee. The other disadvantage of this compared to Lychee is that this app does not have the goggles where you can put the goggles on and fly with goggles. It doesn't have that capability. So um, those are the only two things that I see so far that um, that this does, this app doesn't have that Lychee has. But at the end of the day, you wanted to do a good job, and I think that this did a better job than Lychee. So Lychee's just all over the place. I can't get the box to stay on the car. The box gets big, it gets small, it loses the car. I can't deal with it. Maybe they'll get it right in time. Rolling all over the page place right okay it's kind of speeding up i don't like that i don't like how the box is moving like that but anyway it hasn't lost me i'm doing nine miles an hour ah it's gone it's gone i must say lychee has the same type of follow that drone link has where it follows the controller instead of drawing a box around the car it does a very good job at that as well as you can see here the only difference is you have to use this compass like on the screen to change the direction. Even in joystick mode, as you can see at the top here in green where it says joystick, the joysticks just don't respond for me. So instead of using the joysticks, just use that blue circle that says north, south, west, and east to move the drone around in case you have lychee and you don't have drone link, and I think you'll be just fine as well. And but for right now, if you need to track, drone link is the way to go. And with that being said, I've gotta go. So make sure you hit thumbs up, give this video a big like, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos and I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you become a Patreon guys. Big benefits to Patreon, get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel and there's benefits. Last mini two went all the way to the UK.